Hi everyone. Thanks a lot for watching this short video. In this video, we are going to talk about how you can quickly integrate CyberArk Secret Hub with AWS in five simple steps. Let's get started. So here are five simple steps what you can perform starting from the setup all the way to carry out the quick test. The first thing is you have to assign a CyberArk Secret Hub service user to your existing or the new sales what you're creating. The next step is you have to create a IAM role in your AWS billing account and provide the role name and few other things to your Secret Hub administrator. As the third step, your Secret Hub administrator, uh, he or she will be creating a sync target and the policies. As a step number four, we will be quickly checking whether all the secrets in a, in a designated safe are being synchronized successfully to the AWS Secret Manager or not. As a last step, so you can rotate the password using Password Manager. But in today's demonstration, I'll be just changing the passwords manually and we will be looking into the AWS Secret Manager whether the password values are being successfully updated or not. So let's get started. For this entire demonstration, what we will be doing, you have to go to the docs.cyberact.com. From there, we will be looking into like two simple steps. The first step is like we will be looking into how you can synchronize the privilege cloud secret to the secret hub. So here, like I have already pre-created the save when the save has been created. Then you have to assign a CyberArk Secret Hub system component user with the following permission to the designated state plan. So let me go to the CyberArk Privilege Cloud. For today's demonstration, we will be using one of the safe called June Secret Hub demonstration. So once I click on this specific safe, so you will see I have already assigned the permission to the Secret Hub user as well. Let's look into the permissions. You click on a manage permissions. You're able to see for the access, I have assigned a list account and retrieve accounts permissions. For the safe management, we have assigned a view safe member. For the workflow, we have assigned a access safe without confirmation. So these are the few permissions what's required. So once the permission has been granted to the secret hub user, so then the next step, uh, what you can do if you don't have any sample accounts has been created in the in the in the safe, so you can create one sample account. In my case, I have already created a sample account. So this is what my sample account is. My username is like administrator. Uh, uh, so this is the address. If I click on a detail. So you are able to see like all the different detail. The account name is June My SQL account. So let's look into the password. The password, let me supply the reason. And this is the password like C Y B A R C B A R K one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. So this is the password. So now what we will do, the first step has been completed successfully. We will be looking into the second step. In the second step, we will be looking into the CyberArk Cloud Formation template. So if you click on a manage sync targets, so click on the configuration, you are able to see at this moment CyberArk provided cloud formation template. You can copy and paste this template, and then we will upload this template. And this template is going to grant all these necessary permissions so that we will be able to synchronize the secrets from Secret Hub to the customer's AWS Secret Manager. So here we will be creating a stack. So I'll be uploading a template. So I'll be using this download. So we have copied all the necessary template. So here, we are going to provide a stack name as June video demonstration. So here, these are the few different parameters required. One of the parameters is called Cyberark Secret Hub Role ARN. So what you can do, so if you are on a privileged cloud, so you can simply click on a secret hub. Again, you will need the necessary permission to go to the secret hub. 
So you can go to the secret hub. So here, click on a service information. There we will be able to copy the uh, a, uh, role ARN. So once we are able to copy the role ARN, just copy, paste it here. So we are going to say here, June video demo, secret manager account. Okay, we are using the same account. So I'm using the account ID. The region is not Northern California, it is US West. US West one. Click next. Next. So I acknowledge it is going to be a time role. So it takes around like 20 to 30 seconds. So let's wait for the role to get created. So now we see role has been created successfully. If I click on the resource, let's double click. So from there, you will be able to see the I am role. So this is my role name, June video demonstration, this entire thing. So we are going to use it when we are going to do the configuration on the Cyberac secret hub. But your step number two has been completed. So now we are going to add a new target here. So in the target details, we will be providing all the appropriate configuration of the target AWS account. So we will be selecting AWS. Uh, so here we have to provide a AWS account ID. So let me copy and paste the account ID. So here we will be doing the June video demo AWS. So region is Northern California. So now we are going to copy the iron road. So here, going to copy it. Just paste it and you can provide all the descriptions, whatever you want. So work quickly, whether you have provided all the steps uh, properly, uh, whether the iron rule has been created successfully, what you can do, you can create a uh, click on a test connection. This test connection can quickly help us whether CyberArk Secret Hub can assume a role into the customer's AWS account or not. So once it is done, so you will be able to see, so we are able to successfully connect to the same target. So once it is done, then we are simply going to create a sync policy. So in the sync policy, we will be using the same uh, same safe what has been created. So I'll be using a June secret hub demonstration safe. So I'll click on next, and then you are able to see we are using this Northern California as a region, June de video demo AWS. Click next, so here you can define a policy name, June video demo AWS. So, so by default, you will be able to see CyberArk is going to uh, put a tag into all the uh, secrets being created onto the AWS Secret Manager side here. So once you click on a done button, so it takes around like 20 seconds for the first time. So now what we can do, in the meanwhile, we can go to the Secrets Manager in the Northern California region. From there, we can see whether the secrets has been created or not. At this moment, answer is no, the policy has just been created. And let's go to the policy. Policy is like June video, demo AWS, sync status is we have just started performing the sync status. So it takes a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes here. So let's refresh it. So here you see the sync status is successful. So let's go to the AWS Secret Manager. Let's refresh. 
So there we should be able to see the new uh, secret has been created. So with all the cyber tags, with the platform, with the save. So let's look into the secret value. So if you look into the secret value, the password, the username, platform ID, and all these things has been created successfully. So we have completed until the step number four. So now what we will do, we will go to the privilege cloud and we will try to change the password manually. But in a production environment, you will be changing the password with the help of a CPM component. So now I go to this. So we will try to change the password. Let me use something. Okay, looks like a bad finger. Okay, so now let's change the password. So let's view the password. Click on the show button again. So this is the long password. And so the password synchronization takes maximum of like one minute. So what I'll do, I'll pause the video and then we will come back after one minute. So it's almost like one minute. Let's go to the secret value and then let's see. So here you can see the password has been updated successfully. So thanks a lot everyone for watching this short video, how to set up CyberArk Secret Hub with AWS and how to do a quick testing. Thanks.